Okay, I'm about to play the audio to this video for you, but I can't play the video for you because I, you know, YouTube and everything like that, not going to take the risk. But basically, to explain what's going on is that you have this PC man inside of this convenience store. I'm not sure exactly what kind of store it is. I don't know if it's a 7 Eleven or whatever. Talking a lot of crap to this black man, calling him the N word, saying stuff about his family. I think he mentioned his mother. And let's just say that it didn't end well for this PC man. I'm going to go ahead and play the audio for you. What I'll also do is if you haven't seen the video, I'll leave the link to the video down below and you can watch it for yourself. A lot of people have watched this video so many times since it went out a couple days ago. Okay, so y'all just heard that verbal uh, version of the video. Like I said, I can't play the video for you on here because I already know how YouTube can get down. They can be very selective with these type of videos. Some videos can stay up and some can stay down. I'm not taking the risk because I already know my history in the past with this platform. But basically, I'm going to describe to y'all what happened. Basically, it all starts off. Well, I'm going to describe what leads up to this part right here and then beyond that. So basically, yeah, this this black guy and this white guy in the store, and then this white guy just all of a sudden just starts talking a bunch of BS to this black guy randomly. I don't know for for what. Apparently, they must have gotten into some kind of verbal disagreement before this, and the white guy just kept on talking. Now, if you notice the tone of the white guy, he was talking as if he was some black dude from the hood. Like, if you really listen to him talk, he was the one that was saying the N-word the most. Like, or the whole, basically the whole time until the black guy got him on the ground, but I'm not going to get too far ahead with myself with the story. Look at how he didn't even hesitate to say that word. He said it so smoothly. I don't want to use the word smoothly, but you get what I'm trying to say. He said it so easily, so, so comfortably. It was so comfortable for him to say. It makes me wonder if he has black friends do they allow him to say that word around him and look at the tone that he he was talking in he sounded like like one of the guys from the hood like how he was saying it anyway he kept talking and talking and then that's when you heard about the the mama and i'm talking you know he's like f my mama f my mama no n word f your mama like like how he was saying it and, you know and kept going on and on and on and I always say, look at body language. The black guy had the can in his hand, what he was going to buy. I thought it was an Arizona, but someone said it was some a twisted tea. Either way, it, it was a can that had a, a, a liquid in it. You can always tell when someone's about to strike with some object because the black guy held the had the can right there on the counter at first, but then he grabbed the can and held it downwards and started to grip it. And then that's when the white guy had noticed that he did that. And he said, oh, you're going to smack me with that? <clears throat> you're going to smack me with that? 
Then the white guy takes what he was going to buy and slams it on the counter and says, smack me, smack me, hit me right here. And then he started to slap his face, like directing him to do it. So the black guy, he flips the can, like he throws the can up in the air a little bit, flips it. He tries to catch it, but it slips because, you know, the can is wet from being cold. Then he picks the can up and then the white guy tries to kick the can away. He's not quick enough. And that's what leads to what you see on the screen right here. And that pop sound <clears throat> comes from the black guy hitting PC so hard with that can that it burst on impact. So if you look right there on the picture, right above or um, where the black guy's head is at or like where his shoulder is, that um, spray looking thing, that's the liquid coming out of the can. He hit him so hard that the can burst on impact that's a hard hit that's a very hard hit because usually if you take the can toss it up in the end and let it hit the ground it'll burst but this guy hit it across this guy's face he hit him so hard that the guy fell back into that trash can that you see right there on the ground then the white guy had got up and then he started to swing a little bit i think he probably only got one little tap to the guy's head or to his face and that was it then the black guy grabbed him put him down to the ground and hit him like about six times and says, you gonna call me another N word. You gonna call me another N word. And he hit him like six or seven times. I couldn't count how many times he hit him. Now notice the tone of the white guy changes. He goes from sounding like this wigger. Cause you know, as they used to call him back in the day from the hood to sounding like this prom and proper, proper, uh, happy go lucky white guy he said you're gonna call me another n-word another call me n-word he says you got it you got it he knocked the bass out of that dude's voice when he hit him with that can and hit him a few more times had this white guy face turning red and he was probably bleeding too and the woman in the background she was like the commentary she was giving you know you always gotta have that someone that's got got to do that commentary she was like oh he about to pop up he about to pop up she says well that's what you get that's what you get. And he thought, and then he, after he hit him some more, he literally scooped the white guy up and then tossed him back onto the ground again. And then the white guy, I mean, the black guy just, he ended up leaving. I don't even think, I don't know if he paid for what he got or he was so, you know, well, he, well, he couldn't because he burst, he, what he was going to buy, he hit the guy over the head with. And broke his can and he ended up, uh, I don't know if he left the store or if he uh, went and got another can because I realized the exit is right there behind that other guy with the bandana on and the mask. But the black guy walked to the direction of where the woman was recording. Now, what I do like about this video is that nobody tried to break it up. The workers were back there just having a show. The guy standing right there in the line didn't even flinch. The woman recording was so calm about it. They just let them fight or let him fight because the white guy ain't do nothing. He, what could, like, what could he do? But the point of the matter is this. You have a lot of PC individuals out here who will talk all this crap about black people and say the N word and just to get us riled up. And when we do get riled up and they take us there and we fight them and we whoop that ass. They can't do nothing except beg for mercy. That's why they need a gun. Because many of them cannot fight unless they are like boxers or maybe MMA or maybe if they are a skilled fighter. But other than that, the average PC person who is like this guy right here cannot fight. But they can talk a lot of crap, but they can't back that crap that they talk up. And that is exactly why. This one right here got his ass beat and got hit with a can of of uh, that twisted tea. But that's going to conclude this commentary right here. Like I said, I will leave the link to the video down below so you can watch it for yourself as many times as you want, because it's pretty much, you know, free commentary or free content. But y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure you have your notifications turned on to all. And I will talk to you in the next one.